it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Uh, those of you who know me will know that I am an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. So today we are looking at casing the catalogue again and I'm looking at the Lily Pad Lake which is a lovely set and is carrying over and I'm actually casing this card here and you're going to be quite surprised I think um, about how I'm casing it because I'm taking part in the scrapbook in oh I must get the words right uh, the scrapbooking global May blog hop and the theme this time is masculine so I'm taking this card I'm not using anything from Lily Pad Lake and I'm going to turn it into a scrapbook page I'm going to use new product and the new product is from the Come Sail Away, yes, Come Sail Away suite, which is in the new annual catalogue. Um, these are the designer series papers. They will be coming to you at the beginning of June. And they are gorgeous. They are, there are stripes, there, this is, um, I think it's meant to be seaweed, but I don't think it's just for men, but then I'm slightly biased and I will come on to why I think that in a moment. Or why I'm slightly biased, I should say. So there's that. There's also a pack of Memories and More cards, which I will be using one of. I can't go through all of those with you. There's this lovely stamp set, which I'm not using, um, and these dies, some of which emboss. Oh, love them! So really lovely. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you cannot have enough sailing things. Oh, and this is the Memories of More pack, which has got some laser cut items in it that I'm not using today. So, the colours are Crumb Cake, Soft Suede, Mossy Meadow, Basic Black. Actually, Crumb Cake isn't in it, but I'm taking a liberty and I'm using Crumb Cake. So, it's Balmy Blue, Basic Black, Mossy Meadow, Knight of Navy, Soft suede and whisper white. Um, you possibly could get away with vanilla. Yeah, I think you could probably get away with vanilla in moderation if you wanted. So, this is my background. Aren't I being nasty um, or unkind? So, I'm using a piece of 12 by 12 mossy meadow as my background. Um, let me show you the picture that I'm using next which is this and the reason I say I'm biased is that's me it's a long time ago it's probably whew, it's nearly it's 35 or 40 years ago I mean it's a long time ago this boat was old the the numbering system on this is an international 14 you wouldn't recognize it now as an international 14 it was a very very old one even then the numbering is the lower the number the older the boat um, and 830 was never modern. Um, so this is me sailing, trapezing, um, on the lake that we used to sail on. Um, it was an old gravel pit uh, that the sailing club that I was a member of had purchased. And um, yeah, so that is, so I'm, I'm taking slight liberty with the whole masculine bit, but I don't care. It is going to be a sort of masculine um, layout. So, the next thing that I have got, having decided that that's my picture, I've got a piece of the designer series paper, and this is the ropes with the newsprint on the other side. And this is why I think you could get away with vanilla, because this isn't really white. Um, so if I pop vanilla on, it's not great, it's a bit too yellow, but it's, let's say, in moderation, you might be able to get away with it. So that will be my next layer. I'm not going to stick anything down just yet. Um, and for me, this pattern emulates these stripy bits here. So that's, that's where I'm taking that from. So I'm going to keep referring back to that picture. So these are the stripes. And this is why I'm saying it's, you know, casing is not just copying. I am going to use a mat for my picture because I want to have it lifted out a bit better. I've got a strip of the... Um, this is like a chart 
a sailing chart or a marine chart, which is a map effectively, and then it's the uh, compass on the back. That's going to come down here. Now you may have noticed I have inked the edge of my paper. All I've done is trim half an inch off two sides, so it's uh, 11 and a half square. Um, this I've cut an inch wide and I've inked the edges. Um, I've got one of the Memories of More cards, which I'm going to tuck in. So this, this cross piece here, is there's a piece of ribbon here at the back. That's what I'm using as that. And it's also a really good grounding place for your um, scrapbook. Then this is going to come in and tuck under here. Um, and I am going to, mm, am I going to line it up? No, I am going to line it up with the bottom of this. Um, I'm not going to fill this in because it's going to have information that is specific to me. Um, so this, um, I'm sort of going for that label there. Um, I don't know if you can see there's a label there. It's a bit mm, out there. And then the bits of greenery. We have a die for bits of greenery and I'm going to pop these underneath here and have them coming up over the top. And then I've got another one that I've cut into pieces, which I will also add in there. So that's where I'm take, getting the greenery from. So, first things first, I'm gonna get rid of quite a lot of this because, oops, quite a lot of this, because I want to um, get this sorted. Um, it's going to be shabbed. So I've got soft suede ink and an ink dauber, and I'm going to apply this quite um, quite a lot. So I'm not just daintily being on the edge, I'm going to have it quite, um, I'm being quite rough with it, not rough, but bold. Bold, that's the word. Um, I want it to be obvious and it will become a bit more, a bit clearer as to why in a moment. Um, but I want this obvious. Uh, and because crumb cake technically isn't in the designer series paper, but I kind of think it is, um, I don't mind that I'm covering, I will be covering up quite a lot of the crumb cake with this ink. Okay, so I think that's fine. So I am then taking a pair of my not so loved scissors and I'm going to quite brutally rough up, sorry about the noise, rough up the edges. I don't care if I rip the paper. I'm perfectly happy because this is going to be vintage. We used to do this a lot in the back, in the good old days of scrapbooking. You would do this a lot. I even have somewhere tucked away a tool specifically for doing it. Um, however, the edge of a pair of scissors works quite well. Let's get rid of all the fluff. Um, so there is my shabbed piece of card, which is why, as I say, I really didn't care if um, if I was very bold with the soft suede ink because quite a lot of that soft suede ink has now disappeared and is on my floor. Note to self to Hoover. So that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do is adhere my photograph. And I'm going to use some snail. And I always, even though I'm not going to make this into a hugely elaborate page, I always put my adhesive in from the edge. So if I want to tuck anything in underneath, there is room without having to dismantle the whole page. So that's that. And that's sort of flattened things down a bit. So let's bring in this piece and um, stick down my 12 by, well, 11 and a half inch square piece. And again, I'm just going to put um, snail in strategic places because this is going to go into a, um, a protector, a square protector page so so long as it kind of stays in place that's all that really matters right this I am going to I am going to put adhesive at the ends 
and then I'm just going to pop it down the middle but again I'm going to be tucking things in underneath so now I do want this straight so that's fine I can use my grid paper to help with that to a degree and also the stripes that are already on the page so that's that then my photo actually I'll put some across the bottom as well my hands are filthy from filming other videos and then I'm going to come slightly over the edge actually, I want to go a bit further in that way sort of I'm coming about a third of the way onto that mossy meadow and then this piece I'm going to tuck in underneath so that you can still see date place story and then I want my fronds uh, I think I'm going to go in underneath and this is why yeah this is why I don't like sticking right to the edge when I'm doing scrapbook pages let's clean that up because it's horrible get a scrap it's better right so I'm going to put a bit of adhesive at the bottom and then at a couple of places just to keep body and soul together but I don't want to go mad at this stage because I'm going to tuck some more bits underneath so I'm going to come in and just shimmy that under there and then before I actually stick it down I want to add another of these long fronds underneath so that the whoops so that the bottom is kind of hidden and have that coming over that card and then this one we're going to go behind the other piece and you really do not need much glue so that will have there and then stick all that down and there's just a bit of frou-frou but in a masculine way which is after all what we're looking for now um, on the picture there's this twine it's the linen thread so we have got in the um, suite this baker's twine which is Sahara sand and Knight of Navy so what I am going to do is emulate the linen thread by wrapping now where am I going to want the bow because I do want a bow probably mm, no I think probably there Okay, so I'm going to come round a couple of times. Now, under normal circumstances, I would pick this up and waft it all over the place, but so you can see what I'm doing. Um, do I want a third time? I think I do. You get masses on a reel, so it really doesn't matter. Um, right, okay. So, that's one end, that's the other end. I think I want them sort of crossing in a place or two. So, let's do that and that and that. I can finally adjust later. Now, I find it easier to tie a bow upside down. Don't ask, please, don't ask. Um, it's very sad. I just am bow challenged at moments. And tie your bow. Now there are some little trinkets. Yes, I'm not going to include one, but there are these little trinkets as well. Um, my team have got most of these because this is the kit that they got this month. For I send out a challenge kit each month, send them out some products to play with. Um, and this month it is um, Come Sail With Me.
or come sail away or whatever it's called. Um, so they got some designer series paper, some cardstock and some trinkets. Oh, and some of the, the, linen, the um, baker's twine. So let's cut that down. And that, once I have popped this story in, is pretty much going to be it. The only question I've got is whether I want to add some more bits up here. Um, hmm. There's part of me that wants to. Where are we time-wise? 15 minutes. Okay. Let me see what I can see that I might like to add. Um, I don't want to get too far away from my original... Um, my original design. Uh, ooh, I know what there is. Ooh, I've had a thought. So, if I have a look in the Memories and More pack, there are some stickers. So, let's have a look at the stickers. Which I happen to know. I put at the back. Now you get two sheets of each of the stickers. So there's two of those and two of these. So don't know that any of that's appropriate, but um, no, I'm not convinced. And the reason I'm not convinced is this is quite a busy background and I don't think no, 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 not going to happen. It's not happening. It's not. Um, so, no, is the answer. I don't think I will. Unless there's anything obvious that I can grab from the Memories and More cards. No, not really. Not in a quick moment. What's on the other side of that? No. These are very, very, very good for both cards. I mean, Happy Father's Day in the UK. That's coming up on the 16th of June. Um, so if you are if you have a nautical theme for your Father's Day, that would be good. No, nope. um, I think I'm happy with what I've got. And that's why I can't find anything else to put on there. So I hope you like that. Um, it's a quick introduction to... Um, the Come Sail Away pack, sweet, um, which, as I say, it's coming on the 4th of June to a shop near me, because obviously I would love it if you would like to shop from me. Um, but I hope you can see this, how I've taken this and turned it into this. So the stripes are the rope. This is this label. The ribbon in the back is this strip across the bottom. The fronds here are these. And then I've got my, in this case, it was a, a crane or a stalk. And that's there. So it takes a few liberties, but I like it. And that's kind of what matters. So thank you very much indeed for watching and joining me today. Um, as I say, most of these products are not available at the moment. Um, other than the cardstock, none of this is available at the moment. So, mm, um, oh, apart from the ink as well. But uh, do sp look out for it coming on the 4th of June. Enjoy the rest of the blog. Sorry, blog hop. <laughs> which you can get to that. My brain has given up. Um, if you, There's a link below that says associated post. If you click on that, you'll go over to my blog. And there you will see links to all the other people that are taking part. It's going to be an amazing blog hop. I think I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else has done. So do go and have a look. Um, I hope you found that interesting. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. If you are new to me, don't forget to subscribe, which is in the bottom right hand corner. And if you've got any questions or comments, do please leave them below the video. Thank you very much. Bye.